Let the candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration be presented. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Business Administration are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Akansha Yadav. Arijit Pathak. B. Ravi Kiran. Chiranjit Mandal. Deepak Nirval. Ganga Reddy P. Dharwan Mangesh M. M. Rahul Murkya. Sagar Bharadwaj. Saif Ahmed. Tulika Avasti. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Masters of Business Administration in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Chetan Kushram, Abhishek, Anand Prakash Gautam, Anil Kumar, Sahare Ankita Heman, Anugya Vajpayee, Anupam Naskar, Arpan Rani, B. Chandan Ambadas, Pinod Prasad, Parik Chandan K, Himanish Chattopadhyay, K. Ravi Kumar, Manoj Chhavar, Minas, Navjot Singh Brar, Nishant Pathak, Nishu Navneet, Paman Srivastav, Pramod Rathi, Prashant Kumar Porwal, Rajat Bhakri, Ram Krishna Majumdar, Praveen S, Shashank Shivhare, Subhash A, Sunny Goyal, Sushil Panigrahi, Sayyad Ali Hassan, Tanvir Singh Mahajan, Vidit Mehta, Vin Ruchik Sunil Bhai, Vinayak Gangwar, Yogendra Pratap Singh, Yogesh Chaudhary. All the recipients of the degree of Master of Business Administration, please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each of these candidates to the degree of Master of Business Administration and charge them to prove worthy of the same throughout their lives. All the recipients of the degree of Master of Business Administration, please be seated. Let the candidates for the degree of Master of Design be presented. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Design are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Akash Mitra, Anshuman Karmakar, Chirapriya Mandal, Jivitesh Singh Olak, Mayuk Chakravarti, Saptarishi Kole, Siddharth, Thomas Jacob, Vasav Kumar M, Bharat Sarkar, Rachit Jain,
राजेश रंजन All the recipients of the degree of Master of Design, please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each of these candidates to the degree of Master of Design and charge them to prove worthy of the same throughout their lives. All the recipients of the degree of Master of Design, please be seated. Let the candidates for the degree of Master of Science two year be presented. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Science two year in chemistry are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Siladitya Laha. Abhik Sarkar. Abhishek Jana. Aritra Sarkar. Basudev Mandal. Vishwajit Samanta. Vishwarup Jesh, Dipankar Ghosh, Indrajit Paul, Indrani Banerjee, Manali Ghosh, Mohammad Estak Ahmad, Pranay Kumar Bishwas, Pooja Banerjee, Rahul Nag, Sheikh Samim Islam, Sagar Mai Mandal, Saikat Bala, Saikat Benerji, Sampad Jana, Somjit Bar, Saumi Ghosh, Saurav Gurai, Saurav Ghosh, Saurav Karmakar, Subhamai Char, Subhashrikal, Sucharita Mandal, Tapas Dev Sharma, Ujwal Kumar Maiti. Sir, the following candidates are not present here today. They request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Science two year in chemistry in absentia. 
they having satisfied the requirements for the said degree are considered worthy of it. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Arjun Haldar, Srijita Das, Anupam Mandal, Banshi Das, Jeet Chakraborty, Praveer Bisui, Ranjit, Man Ranjit Mandal, Somesh Bhattacharya, Supriya Mahatma. Thank you. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirement for the degree of Master of Science two year in mathematics are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Suraj Prasad, Amit Kumar, Jitendra Kumar, Kritika Dixit, Nagesh Kumar Jaiswal, Prashant Jha, Reshu Yadav, Shashikant Maurya, Archana Oja, Deepika Sharma, Devajyoti Shen, Indubaran Mondal, Modhu Bhatia, Monisha Chaudhuri, Milton Bishas, Nochiket Karnik, Nagendra Kumar Yadav, Pankhuri Sharma, Prashant Garain, Rima Chatterjee, Rohit Kumar Shahu, Rashni Agarwal, Shachin Kumar, Shibesh Srivastava, Somojit Saha, Suman Paul, Tushar Bhatt, Sir, some of the candidates are not present here today and request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Science two year in mathematics in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirement for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Kapil Dev, Kumari Arti, Kumar Dipta Bose, Kuntal Kumar Giri, Sharavan Kumar Sharma. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirements for the degree of Master of Science two year in physics are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Apurva Datta, Ram Prakash, Subhash Singha, Abhishek Samanta, Amarth Datta, Anirban Das, Abhishek Kumar Basu, Bibhas Datta, 
देबा स्मिथ सरकार जय कुमार शाह कृष्णेंदु मंडल नीलाद्री पॉल शैकत सूर संदीप चौधरी सप्तर्षि घोष शमरीम इरम त्रिपर्णा मॉन्डल उत्पल दत्ता Sir, some of the candidates are not present here today and request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Science two year in Physics in absentia. Each having satisfied the re requirements for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Chakresh Kumar Singh, Nakul Charan Maji, Shobek Sarkar, Antu Laha. Sir, I present the candidates who having satisfied the requirement for the degree of Master of Science two year in statistics are considered worthy of receiving the same. I recommend that they be admitted to the said degree. Gaurav Ranjan. Niketan Mishra. Shayak Shangupta. Obijay Shah, Anirban Ghosh, Koushali Kundu, Noirita Kundu, Nidhi Maurya, Piyali Bashak, Prashun Vishash, Ridhim Grover, Sharbujit Roy, Shayori Rai Choudhury, Shubhashmit Ghosh, Udipta Chakraborty. Sir, some of the candidates are not present here today and request that they be admitted to the degree of Master of Science two year in statistics in absentia. Each having satisfied the requirement for the said degree is considered worthy of it. I recommend that each of them be admitted to the said degree in absentia. Biplop Sharkar. Shubha Oberai, Shubhadeep Acharya. All the recipients of the Master of Science two-year degree, please rise. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chairman of the Senate of the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, I do hereby admit each of these candidates to the degree of Master of Science two-year in respective disciplines and charge them to prove worthy of the same throughout their lives. All the recipients of the Master of Science two-year degree, please be seated. Let the names of the students of one year PGDE LM who have been convocated at, the, at IIM Calcutta be permitted to be entered in the reg register for inclusion of the graduating students. Sir, 
the names of the candidates of one year postgraduate program for executives, visionary leadership in manufacturing, who have been convocated at IM Calcutta be permitted to be entered in the register for the graduating students. Abhijit Ghosh, Abhijit Bhagwat Patil, Abhipsha Chand, Amit Kumar, Anuj Parashar, Anurag Mishra, Aravind Kumar Pillai, Ashish Gupta, B. Sahu, Deepak Joshi, Debashish Nagori, Divakar K, Gaurang Garg, Jayesh Dinesh Rathor, Karthik R, Kumar M, Mainak Banerjee, Manpreet Singh, Mayank, Mayank Gaur, Nidhi Kalpana Pandey, Prakhar Jha, Prasad M. S. S., Prashanna Kumar Jha, Prashant Chauhan, Prashant Kumar, Prashant Kumar, Ranadhir Singh, Sahil Kapoor, Satya Shankar S., Saurabh Mishra, Shanti Raja M., Shomar Jyoti Barwa, S. Singh, Suman Paul, Suresh Thaka, Vidik B., Vivek Saigal. Let the record of the degrees be presented to the Chairman, Board of Governors, for his signature. All the recipients of all the degrees, please rise. Remember that your knowledge and intellectual attainment is the most sacred wealth of the nation. You shall therefore use it in a manner befitting the honor and dignity of your country and of your alma mater. You shall make every effort in all circumstances to uphold the dignity of your profession and integrity of your character. You shall endeavor in every way through thought, word, and action to bring about the well-being of people. You must live a well-disciplined life Never forget the commandment of the sacred scriptures. Thou shalt perform deeds that are commendable and no others. All the recipients of all the degrees, please be seated. I request Chairman Senate to please read out the citation for Doctor of Science for Dr. Arun Shori. Dr. Arun Shori was born in Jalandhar on November 2, 1941. He obtained his doctorate in economics from Syracuse University and worked with the World Bank from 1967 to 1978. Concurrently, during 1972 to 1974, he was a consultant to the Planning Commission of India. In 1979, Dr. Shori took over as the executive editor of the Indian Express. He served as a member of parliament for two consecutive terms during 1998 to 2004 and 2004 to 2010. He held the offices of the Union Minister of Disinvestment and Communications and Information Technology in the Government of India. Dr. Shauri has made outstanding contributions to the public life as a distinguished journalist, legislator, and a union minister. He is known as a fearless editor who led a sustained campaign to expose corruption in public life, defend civil liberties, and to uphold the freedom of press. Dr. Shauri has to his credit several books which reveal his in-depth understanding of the Indian social and political system and his passion for building a strong and modern nation. 
Dr. Shauri's commitment to the science and engineering education in the country led him to pledge the MPLADS funds to the establishment of the Department of Biological Sciences and Bioengineering and the Center for Environmental Science and Engineering at IIT Kanpur. Dr. Shauri is a recipient of Padma Bhushan. He was conferred the Raman Magsese Award in Journalism, Literature, and Creative Communication Arts in 1982. In 2000, he was acclaimed as one of the world place freedom heroes by the International Press Institute Vienna. He has also been conferred the International Editor of the Year Award and the Freedom to Publish Award. Some of the other awards conferred upon Dr. Shauri include Dadabhai Nauraji Award and the Aster Award. He is also a fellow of the Indian Council of Social Science Research. It is both an honor and privilege to confer upon Dr. Arun Shauri the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa on this day, the 18th of June, 2014. I request Dr. Shauri to come forward to receive the uh, degree of uh, DSC Honoris Causa. My dear friends, I am deeply conscious of the honor that has been conferred on me, and I am just as delighted yesterday in visiting the two centers in biotechnology and also in um, uh, environmental sciences that they have become such beehives of activity and are doing such important work. Uh, you have received all of you um, degrees, and I join everyone in congratulating you and you are going to be pounded with advice, so I'll, I have three minutes and I'll give you three points of advice. First, always pursue excellence. Never dilute your standards, either in your professional work or in your personal conduct. There is, this world has many opportunities, but it is a merciless world. There is no place for a person or a country which slacks. Second, keep your academic interests as your main passion. If you pursue your academic interest, you will never be short of money because you would have learned that what you have at a particular moment is enough. If you pursue money, you will never have enough. Because whatever you have, you will think is not enough. So always pursue. And that goes for fame also. Third and last, do not become your jobs. In addition to doing excellent work and outstanding work in your profession, take up one issue and become the authority in, that, in the whole country on that particular issue, and then speak up on the great issues of our time so that discourse shifts from the politicians and from the superficial soundbite journalists. It shifts to you who are the experts in particular subjects. <laughs> There'll be other occasions to discuss these matters, but for the moment, thank you for this honor Thank you for making two centers such vibrant places of good work. And I join once again everyone in congratulating all of you who have actually worked for their degrees. We are getting the degrees without working for them. Thank you very much. Thank you.
I request Chairman Senate to please read out the citation for Doctor of Science for, for Professor V. Rajaraman. Professor Vaideshwaran Rajaraman was born in Erod on September 8, 1933. He obtained his doctorate from the University of Wisconsin in 1961. In 1963, he joined the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur, as a faculty member. Professor Rajaraman is a visionary who pioneered computer science education in India. He initiated short-term courses on programming and computing at IIT Kanpur and guided their growth from 1966 to 1979. He was instrumental in starting computer science specialization at the MTech level in 1965, the first academic program in the area in India. Professor Rajaraman was also responsible for the introduction of a core level course in computing for all IIT Kanpur undergraduates at a time when very few institutions in the world offered such a course. Professor Rajaraman has written many pioneering books on computer programming, computer design, information systems design, and parallel computers, which have immensely helped generations of students. He has made major research contributions in the area of parallel computing and algorithms. Professor Rajaraman was conferred Padma Bhushan in 1998. He is a recipient of the Shanti Sharup Bhatnagar Prize, the Homi Bhabha Prize, the IST Award for Excellence in Teaching, Omprakash Vasin Prize, Rustam Choksi Award, INSA, SH Zaheer Medal, and Lifetime Contributions Award by the Indian National Academy of Engineering. He is a fellow of the Indian Academy of Sciences, Bangalore, National Academy of Sciences, Allahabad, and Indian National Academy of Engineering. It is both an honor and privilege to confer upon Professor Vaideshwaran Rajaraman the degree of Doctor of Science Honoris Causa on this day, the 18th of June, 2014. May I now request Professor Radharaman to come forward for award of BSc on this project. Dear graduating students, members of faculty, and invitees, I'm extremely honored to be recognized by the Senate of the Institute of Technology and the Board of Governors for the award of this degree, which I also haven't earned. This is my unearned degree. <clears throat> I'm not. I, I'm, I'm not a, a stranger to Kanpur. I am actually, the, this is my first home. I remember um, that I joined the institute on 23rd March, 1963. I distinctly remember the date because that is my first job in India. <clears throat> and um, we were in HBTI campus in the city, and the campus here had not come up. On April 1st, 1963, we actually moved to the campus. The first thing which moved was, there's only one building, the workshop building. And the first thing which moved 
was the library, where a lot of students took the books along and brought it and stacked in the library here. And um, that is the beginning of my association here. And it's been extremely pleasant few years. The greatest asset of Kanpur is the excellent students we get. And um, no teacher can prosper without having good students to work with. You learn a lot more from your students. And it turned out that computer science being a new discipline, I did learn a lot from my doctoral students and master's students and went along with the stream. In computing, as you know, every two, three years, things change. When we first started the programming course, Fortran was king. Then came along Pascal, and followed by C, Java, and a plethora of languages. Every time a new language came, the only way I learned was to write a book on that language, so that I had to write the programs myself. And um, so the lesson for all of you is that when you start life in any academic discipline, what you learned when you leave the institution is only a minuscule part of what you will learn in the rest of your life. So every few years, you have to reinvent yourself and relearn and unlearn a lot of things. So I'm sure that all of you would really would have learned here how to learn by yourself. And that is the most important thing that you should take out with, with you when you leave IIT. And you're all very lucky to be in a place which is renowned for its openness, for its <coughs> close interaction among students. In the early days, of course, Kanpur city had nothing much to offer. And um, so our homes really became the places where the students used to go. Almost every other night, somebody used to drop in. Even today, some of my early PSC students, whenever they come to India, or wherever they are in the country, they stay with me. In other words, they, they, it's more of, more of a family than really um, an institution where there's a distance between the faculty and the students. And I'm sure that particular culture of Kanpur, which is unique, continues. And uh, I congratulate all of you who have got your degrees. I don't have much more to add to what Dr. Shauri has said, extremely wise words. And uh, I'm, I think I'll definitely follow that myself. And uh, I ask you also to kind of remember the ex extremely wise words he has told you based on his experience. And in my own experience, I found that what kept me going was the fact that new things are coming all the time. And um, I was learning new things and kept my neurons active. Just like you keep your muscles active by exercising, you have to keep your neurons active. Otherwise, you get into Alzheimer's and other kinds of diseases. So I would urge all of you to keep your muscles, the neurons active all your life. Thank you very much.